Hey everybody, uh, it's Derek, and in this video we will be talking about how to play one of the classic shooters, uh, Quake 1, on Linux. And to do that, there are three different options. In this video, I'm going to be covering the first option, which just lets you play the Quake shareware. Uh, keep in mind that I'm covering this option in the video because it's the free option, so if you just want to mess around with Quake, you can play it with free of charge. But uh, we also cover how you can get the full game, uh, the non-shareware version, working through GOG and Wine or Steam Play. So check those out in the link in the description if you want that. But uh, to start off, you're going to need Quake Spasm, and I've already got it installed. And uh, if we run it here, nothing's going to happen because it doesn't have anything. So uh, we need to download the shareware, and the shareware is... Uh, right here just do wget and this line here uh, of course this command and all other commands will be in my article and you can go and check those out uh, but uh, just download the file here then you're gonna want to open it with wine and uh, the reason we're doing this is because we need to install the quake shareware on our Linux system because it's a Windows file so we need to get the we need to get the package files so we, once we've got everything installed, you need to put the ID file, the package files from this into the Quake Spasm folder. So this is where the video gets a little different. So Quake Spasm, depending on what Linux distribution you're using, the instructions are going to be different. The folders are going to be different. On OpenSUSE, it goes in this folder, but on Arch, it could be in a completely different directory in Ubuntu and Debian, different directory in Fedora, it's different. So please check my tutorial to learn more information. But if you're using SUSE like I am, it goes in this folder here, and we're going to do that now. So just try this command out here, and it should copy directly here, the package file. Then we can go to Quake, and it should run our game. And here we go. We have Quake. We have multiplayer. And I can click single player and start a new game. And I've got the original Quake. It's, uh, the <laughs> it's running a bit weird. I don't really know why the mouse is acting the way it is. Here we go. I am definitely not used to these controls. <laughs> but uh, that is how you use Quake Spasm. And uh, let's change these options really quick. Anyways, guys, this is how you get the original Quake running on Linux through Quake Spasm. Please check my article in the description where we talk about how to get other methods of playing Quake working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.